you guys. I want to come in and talk to you guys about some low cost strategies to market your business. Okay. Yes, we're back to talking about marketing your business. Now, this is majority going to be about marketing your business in the community. So if that's something you're looking into, especially if you're a service business, you definitely want to look into some of these ways. So I have three and we're going to get into it. All right. So oh, they don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to offer something for free. Now. Before you stone me, I done told you guys, I'm not interested in you guys doing a lot of things for free. But in the beginnings when nobody knows you, the great thing about free is free can be a way for you to get des testimonials and free can be a way to get pictures. So free can be something that you can do. Um, I don't know what kind of service that you may have, but for example, for my birders out there, something you can do is you can... Um, either do free or super low cost so you might go up to like a school or after school program and say hey i'm doing hair for 10 bucks or no money the exchanges you give me a testimonial and you give me pictures okay so that's a way to get yourself known in the community the next way to get known in the community is go and be a part of the community and be a part of a cause that's in the community for example by the time you guys see this video i will be a part of for the second year i'm going to be a part of a nonprofit who actually goes out and um, feeds shelters. So the great thing about that is that I went there for a cause and what that helps you do, like it helps me, is it helps me get exposures and it helps me market the business. The reason why I helped me market the business is because when I went last year, I represented Go Jimby Fit. And when I go this year, I'm gonna be representing Pretty Chicks and Vets. Now, you'd be like, well, Jen, you went there, you exposure, what did it bring you? Uh-huh, what did it bring me? Okay, so it ended up being that they wanted me to come and talk to the shelter. Then it turned into me doing a um, gig for the shelter. Gig, in that sense, was me doing a group fitness class. And then the other site heard that I did a group fitness class. And then they hired me for another group fitness class there as well. So you see how that me just going there to support. I literally was like packing up clothes, dishing out food, turned into paid gigs. Okay, so don't sleep on the local um, events in your community. Like, say, for example, I'm going to be uh, this year. Okay, yes. Okay, J go Jim be fit. Girl, go Jim be fit is coming back. Okay, she's back. Um, and what I'm going to be doing to uh, relaunch go Jim be fit is I am actually going to be doing a 5K. I'm going to be running for Alzheimer's. And of course, me being out there, I'm going to be, that's, I'm going somewhere for a cause, but I'm going to be representing Go Jimmy Fit while I'm out there. So I'm literally going to have my hoodie on, I'm literally going to have my hat on, and I'm going to kill it, okay? So you want to do it for a cause, but you never know that cause can turn into you being booked and busy, okay? All right, and the last thing, but not least, I want you to get out and go to network events. I keep telling you guys this, and I'm not going to stop telling you guys this. Go to network events, especially for your industry, Okay? You want to go to these networking events because these are places you can wear your branding. These are places that you can pass out your business cards. And the reason why it's not going to be awkward or weird when you go to events and you do those things is people are aware that this is what everybody's doing, right? So you're not going to look like the outsider. You're not going to be the stranger or the weirdo doing that. It's like, no, everybody's here to market their business. Everybody's here to network. And the great thing that comes from networking is collaborations. And what also comes from collaborations is word of mouth because like I told you guys when I went to um, do the, with the nonprofit and we did the event, that was word of mouth. Somebody told somebody else I rocked out doing my class, they asked me to come do another one. So you want to network in the way of represent your branding, take your business cards. I dare you to go to another networking event and you at least need to pass out your business cards to 10 people. Okay. And even if you don't pass out business cards, because I do know what is very popular now. And when you go to networking events, people want your handle. They don't necessarily want your business card. So I need you to either hand out at least 10 business cards or I need you to talk about your business to 10 different people. Because if you get 10 people, you knock on 10 doors, one of those doors is bound to open and bound to be somebody that can be a new brand new client for your business. So you guys, I hope that this was helpful. Again, you want to do free events so you can get testimonials and pictures. You want to go to causes and be a part of causes in the community so that you can go ahead and get exposure and you can market your business. And then you want to go to network on events for potential collaboration opportunities and talking about your business word of mouth. Because even though we're all online, I've shared this with you guys before, Online ain't loyal, okay? 
online ain't loyal, okay? Your best bet is to always be talking about your business in person. You guys, I hope this was helpful. Go in the description. Number one, grab the audiobook. There is room for you. Number two, grab the one-page business plan. And then number three, you need to be checking out the rest, girl. What you gonna do? Are you making a course? Are you creating a workbook? Sis, what you doing? Let me know. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all. Oh, wait. In the comments, hashtag pretty gang. Talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you.